Hello, everyone. One day, something came to my mind, and I believe something like war of attrition. And you may say to me, Kevin, what does that mean? War of attrition, a prolonged war or period of conflict during which each side seeks to gradually wear out the other by a series of small scale actions. What came to my mind, in essence, in this life, I believe it is about war of attrition. In this life, I believe demons are granted a particular amount of power on this earth. Power as in, if I am saying this rightly, I believe demons are allowed to mess with our lives on a particular level. Maybe it is not the same for everyone. So I said war of attrition. See, the enemy is going to, at least uh, what it seems like to me, I may not get attacked a lot every day, but I would say I get attacked demonically as it seems kind of often. So war of attrition, constant attacking you in the hopes, I would say demons are constantly, maybe not every single day. So when I say constantly, I may not mean every single day, or maybe I should use a different word. Demons may attack you so often in the hopes of you giving up on God. So they may not be very concerned about one individual attack. Maybe they have it inside their mind. I am going to attack this person over and over and over again until that person loses their faith in God, until that person gets sick of tired of being I guess, tempted or whatever else like that until they get sick and tired of hoarding on to God to where they will give up and go back to their old ways. War of attrition. So what should you do to combat against this? as it seems the steady or somewhat steady line of attacks. Maybe attacks in your marriage, maybe attacks in your personal life, maybe attacks at work, maybe attacks between siblings. So what can you do to combat against this? I believe what helps is seeking God. Read your Bible, pray, maybe even fast from time to time. Because if you are being a demonically attacked so often, I believe we need to be recharged. And I believe the way that we can be recharged is by seeking God, by reading the Bible, fasting, um, singing songs to God, 
pretty much staying in touch with God because I believe he is our power source. So while you are living in this life, have it in your mind to endure. Yes, many demonic attacks may come your way. Okay. And you may want them to stop. Have it in your mind, no matter what comes my way, not that you are wishing for bad things to happen to you. Please don't get me wrong. Have it in your mind, no matter what happens to you in your life, you are going to stick with God no matter what. Because I believe in this life, it is about endurance, spiritual endurance. Okay, I may make mistakes. I may sin, but hey, I am not going to let that get me down. I am going to get back up and continue on with God. Okay, today I made a mistake. I am not going to let that get me down. Even if you make 20 mistakes a day, don't let that get you down. Get back up and continue trying to do what is right. The enemy may come at you. Demons may come at you so much. Think of war of attrition. They are not going to stop. You may have times of peace, but I believe while we are on this earth, I believe we are going to be tested so much. So if we are going to be tested so much, you should have it in your mind. Be long suffering. Endure. I think that is the key word. Listen to what I am saying. Because I think some baby Christians or maybe some people who may not consider themselves baby Christians, they may think inside their minds having too many problems is a bad thing. I guess in some cases it may be, but if you are with God and if you are having too many problems, listen, yes, fight against them spiritually, yes, but... Learn to endure. I have gone through some things and they may not be as big as some people, but almost every big test I went through, spiritual test, I believe, it required endurance. Yes, I may not have liked being in a difficult situation, but when I would endure, keep a positive attitude, it eventually ended. It did. I was in a situation some years ago. It eventually ended. Well, it ended. It ended. Took a long time, but it ended. I had to endure. I had to seek God as well. I may still be a baby Christian. I don't know. But we have to take it out of our minds that we should not have problems in this world. Listen, we are going to have problems in this world. I believe as you rank up in Jesus Christ, I believe you are going to have more difficult problems. I am trying to tell you. Who told you that you are not going to have problems in this world? If someone told you that, they are lying. Listen now. I believe in this life. It is not only, but I believe this life is about spiritual maturity.
maybe some years ago, maybe it was okay for you to act very spiritual, very spiritually immature. It is time to stop that. You need patience, you need humility, you need long suffering, and you need endurance. Endurance is so important. You may be asking God to take you out of that problem and not saying he won't, but that problem may be helping you. Your pastor may have not told you this. All problems are not bad. I guess when you hear the word problem and you know you may have it in your mind, well, if it is a problem, then it have to be bad. No, I believe some problems may be bad on the outside if you look at it from the outside, but look at the fruit. Yes, you are going through a problem, but what is it doing for you? Oh man, please listen to what I am saying. What is it doing for you? Is it helping you to become more patient? Is it helping you to be more enduring? Is it helping you to be more positive? Yes, I believe some problems can teach you how to be more positive. That may seem foreign to you, but I truly believe it is possible. I may not be on a very high level in Jesus Christ, but there huh, I am learning, or maybe I should say I have learned that I believe much problems have a purpose. We need problems. What are you talking about, Kevin? We need problems. I believe many of us need problems because I believe some problems helps us to change. So if problems helps us to change, what do we need? Endurance. Obedience too, of course, but also endurance. Yes, your mom may have not told you this. Your pastor probably did not tell you this. But listen now. My, my goal in life is to become closer and closer to Jesus Christ. I want to elevate higher and higher in Jesus Christ. What else do I have in this world? What ambition is more important than that? Should I chase after money mainly? Should I chase after women mainly? Should I, like what is more important? Chasing after women when you are married is wrong. Like what is, what is more important than getting closer to Jesus Christ? That is my goal. That is my main goal. Because even if I become rich, even if I get tons of cars, tons of homes, tons of whatever, once I leave this world, I'm not going to have it no more. I have to leave everything behind. What comes with me is my record. How I performed on this earth. That is going to come with me. I believe that is going to come with me in the afterlife. So if that is going to come with me to the afterlife, why not focus on that so much? I am not saying it is bad to go to college bad to do this and that per se but why place so much focus on it when you are going to have to leave your degrees you are going to have to leave your homes your cars your uh tvs 
um, Roku and stuff. You have to leave all that stuff. So my goal in life, or should I, or should I say my desire, is to become more and more like Jesus Christ and get closer to him. I really want that. I desire that so much. And I try to learn how to better myself as well. Because I believe the better I get, the, the closer I get to God. And what is better than that? Getting closer to your creator. Amazing. Let me stop here. May God bless you.